Hey everybody, it's T-Mac from CloseCallSports.com. When I woke up this morning, our inbox at CCS was littered with people wanting us to talk about this play in Milwaukee between the Nationals and the Brew Crew. It's the top of the seventh inning. There's nobody on. It's an 0-1 count. Charlie Ramos is our plate umpire. And we'll tell you why that's important in a second as this Ask the Youthful rolls on. So Lane Thomas hits a high fly ball to deep left center field. And Thomas is going to keep on going. And Lane is going to get the wave. And he is going to be hosed by quite a ways. And that's, wait a minute, that's not Charlie Ramos. That's Stu Sherwater. And that's because we had an excellent rotation by the umpires. So the question here is, Will they challenge? Can I get 20 seconds on the clock, please? Thank you. That gives us a great opportunity to remind the folks out there that we're sponsored by Out West Officials. For all your umpiring gear, apparel, and so much more, contact them on the World Wide Web at outwestofficials.com and use the promo code CCS10 for 10% off your next order. And guess what? There's no spending limit. So I think the Nationals' time has expired. And they're not going to be allowed to challenge Jeff Nelson, the crew chief of this one. And that's that. So Davey Martinez does not get the challenge request in time. And now we morph into teachable mode. So what we're looking at here is rotation. The second base umpire goes out. That's Jeff Nelson. And that means a rotation is on. The third base umpire is C.B. Buckner. You can see the first base umpire, Stu Sherwater, in the background when Thomas rounds first base. He will go to the plate when Thomas rounds second and goes to third. What you're trying to do in, this, in these instances are mirror the runner as the first base umpire. And when you're rounding second to third, you mirror him to the plate. You have plenty of time to get ready to make the call. So C.B. Buckner is ready at second base, waiting for Thomas to see the touch off camera. You kind of see him for a split second there. And at third base is Charlie Ramos out of frame. And Stu Sherwater waiting in the keyhole. Steps back, makes the whacker out mechanic well done. So some of you are asking, wait a second. I feel like the catcher was blocking home plate. Look, this is not going to get overturned on replay. The question is, is the catcher receiving the baseball? Or is he doing something to block the runner's path? And he's going to get the ball. The ball clearly is to, as we're looking at it from above the left side of the mound, it's going over top of the left side of the mound. The catcher is receiving the baseball, and the runner is still on the grass about six feet, has not started his slide. This is not going to get overturned on replay. Catcher fields, tags out all day. So no, we do not have any home plate collision rule here, and the unfortunate fact, if you're a Nationals fan, is you have 20 seconds to challenge and if you don't do it in that time and a crew chief doesn't give you any extra time, then you are out of luck. And that's the reason this did not go to replay. Well, we hope this clears up all the questions in this youthful, teachable hybrid on the socials. It's at Close Call Sports. And would you be so kind to subscribe to us here on YouTube? We're nearing 20,000 subscribers and we'll have something special for you when we get to that number. On behalf of everybody here at Close Call Sports, always do what's right, not what's easy. Happy umpiring, everyone. Send him. A good throw will get him. And that's a good throw.